Hello there, my name is Josiah Gilliam, and this is a Mindful Moment with Awaken Pittsburgh. Hi, I'm Stephanie Romero, the Executive Director of Awaken Pittsburgh, and today I want to bring you a body-based practice called Tensing and Relaxing. Are you ready, Josiah? <laughs> I'm ready. What, what are we getting into today? <laughs> so the idea with this practice is to really bring awareness into the different areas of our body and what they feel like when they're tense and what they feel like when they're relaxed. And I often use this when I'm starting to notice some tension in my body because it really helps me work with how does that feel to have that tension and then what does it feel like to try to relax it. So that's the idea. And what we'll do is it's kind of progressive through the body. We'll start with the lower body, then we'll kind of do the middle section and then upper body. And so I'll guide you and you can be seated to do this. You can also do it lying down. I know a lot of people who hold a lot of tension in their body like to do this before bed. And so they'll do it laying in the bed and it helps relax the body to allow them to be able to sleep. So taking a comfortable posture, however you are, either seated or lying down. And then first, just bringing your attention, <clears throat> and you can do it with your eyes open or closed, by the way, either, either is fine. Okay. So bringing your attention into the feet and the legs. So just noticing how the feet and the legs feel for a moment. Are they already feeling fully relaxed? Are they already feeling like there's some tension in there somewhere? And then what I invite you to do is to tense all the muscles of the feet and the legs. And that might be curling your toes. It might lift your feet up off the floor or your legs up off the bed. So squeezing every muscle in the feet and legs as hard as you can. Please don't hurt yourself, having said that, right? If anything ever hurts, don't do it, back off. Then holding that and really feeling what does it feel like to be fully tensed. One more second if you're able. And then fully relax and let them just sink into the floor of the bed. And we'll do one more round like that. Just letting it relax for a moment more. And then tensing, so tensing the feet, tensing the legs, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing those muscles, all of the muscles of the legs and the feet, holding that as best you can. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath, that's a tendency we might have. And relax. And taking a moment to just breathe that out. And then really noticing how the legs feel. Do they feel more relaxed after doing that? Is there still some residual tension anywhere? Just noticing how they feel. Okay, great. So now we're going to do the hands, the arms, and this might include a little bit of the shoulders. It's kind of hard to tense the arms without the shoulders. So first noticing the hands and the arms and up into the part of the shoulder where it connects with the arm. Noticing there if there is any tension there at all. Or are they fully relaxed? Maybe there's some spots that might feel tense and others that feel relaxed. Whatever you find is fine. Okay, and as you're ready, squeezing fists, tightening the arms. That again, might raise the arms off the legs or bed or chair. So tensing, tensing, tensing again, backing away if it hurts at all, but tensing as much as you can, really inviting the tension into the muscles of the arms, the fingers, the hands, holding it for just a moment longer, and relax. And just really let them melt. And we'll do that one more time as well. OK, 
Okay, so tensing the hands and the arms again, tensing, 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 really squeezing all the muscles of the arms and the hands and maybe noticing if there's some muscles that are harder to tense. Keeping breathing. Don't hold the breath if you're able to breathe, that's better. And relax. The invitation here again is to just notice how do the arms and hands feel now. Can you notice a difference? Is it the same as before we did the exercise on the arms and the hands? Is there residual tension or do they feel fully relaxed? Now we'll turn to the torso. So this is the belly, the chest, the shoulders, the back. And sometimes it's hard to isolate just the torso. So whatever it looks like for you. First, we're gonna again, just notice. How does the belly feel? The chest, the shoulders, might be into the neck a little bit. Everything's connected, so it's hard to isolate those spots sometimes. Lower back. And as you're ready, experimenting with tensing. So tensing the tummy, maybe pulling it in, squeezing the shoulders together, tightening that lower back, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. If the arms lift or you feel the tension come into the legs and arms too, that's okay. Continuing to breathe as you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax. One last time for tensing the torso. As you're ready, tensing the belly, the shoulders, back. Holding the tension and again, back away if you feel pain. Noticing that you're breathing. And relax. And just checking in, how does the torso feel? Maybe as you were tensing, did you notice a spot that was already tense? How does it feel to bring in relaxation? And we'll do one last area, which is the face. And this looks funny, but we're going to try it. We'll see how Josiah and I get filmed like this. <laughs> so what you wanna do is first notice the face. Sometimes we hold our tension in the jaw. Sometimes we hold our tension in the forehead. Just noticing first. And so when we tense the face, it could be a variety of ways. We could scrunch it all up, like furrowing our brow, clamping our jaw. Some people stick their tongue out. If you wanna do it that way, that's fine. I'm gonna fr I'm gonna scrunch my brow and and clamp my jaw. So as you're ready, working with the face and jaw area, bringing some tension into that, squeezing, squeezing, holding it, or continuing to breathe and relax. And one more time, clenching the jaw, squeezing the forehead. Holding that for a moment. And relax and just noticing how that feels now. And we'll do one final set, which is going to be the entire body. 
Okay, so one last time, doing a little check across your whole body. How are you feeling right now? Feet, legs, torso, arms, hands, face, neck. And then as you're ready, tensing the whole body, whole body, whole body, every muscle that you can, that you can notice, bringing tension into the whole body, whole body, whole body. Keep breathing. Again, if there's pain somewhere, back off. And relax. Just let it all melt into the chair or bed. And as you're ready, take maybe two or three deeper breaths to bring deeper relaxation into the muscles and physical experience. And in a moment, I'll ring the chime to end the practice. So that was a little bit different than some of the other practices we've done. <laughs> how, how did that feel in your body? Uh, certainly different. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. And I noticed that um, it was a simple thing for me to say to a region of my body, tense up. Mm -hmm. And then I became very quickly aware of all the different ways that that could be possible. Mm -hmm. And how it start it would like inevitably creep into other parts of the body yeah. <laughs> um and but because i was focusing on tensing i noticed i noticed that and there's a couple of times the face i think was the most um uh, interesting example of this besides the whole body tensing but i, I had realized that a couple other regions that i was uh, also tensing my face mm. or, like, tensing my jaw or there was tension in like mm -hmm. in my mouth mm -hmm. and uh, was relaxing because I'm only supposed to be working on the feet and the legs, for example. <laughs> when we went to do the face, <clears throat> there's a lot of muscles in the head and face. Yeah. And yeah. I was fine with clenching the jaw. And then it was it was like a succession of furring my brow and like mm -hmm. mashing my lips together and trying mm -hmm. to like scrunch the muscles in the middle of my face. And it there was always like, it seemed like I kept finding another thing to clench, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that I'd like stopped clenching my jaw because I was like focused on my eyes or something, and so yeah, it was yeah. it was a it was an interesting it was an interesting region uh, and and practice uh, for me in a lot of ways. How about you? Yeah, so you know everything is an experiment, so there's not a right way or a wrong way to do it. So that you were experimenting with all the different regions is fantastic. Like that's just what it is. Um, yeah, I haven't done that practice in a while, and and I. Um, I appreciate it because it's so in your body. Mm -hmm. A lot of other practices I find, you know, you're paying attention to something that maybe isn't static, like the breath isn't static, but it doesn't hold your attention as much. But the tensing and relaxing, I never find that my mind wanders. Mm -hmm. So that's a really great thing about that particular practice. And the other thing is I work a lot with children and youth, and this is a great practice to do with them mm -hmm. because kids can really get into the tensing and relaxing and the physical quality and they also really see the benefit. And it's a great way to help start working on emotional literacy with them because when you feel angry or you get upset, your body tenses and this is what it feels like and compare that to the relaxed state. So it's a really good, it's a really good activity if you have young people in your life um, to try with them. The moments right after the tensing are, are noticeable. It's, yes. There, there is a calm, there is a... I once was tense and am no mm -hmm. longer as tense that's right. realization. And that's really, that's really great. I can see how that could be so beneficial for kids uh, mm -hmm. or folks that want to get more into their body, more mm -hmm. into their, uh, their present state. It's really wonderful. 
Yeah, it's a great tool. And even for us as adults, like I know I hold tension in my neck and back sometimes and don't realize that it's building until it might start to get painful. Mm -hmm. And so doing the tensing and relaxing every once in a while, oh, wow, yeah, I feel that there's not a lot more tensing I can do at this moment because it's already tense, you know? And yeah. so working, working with it to kind of like, I'm thinking of like wringing out the washcloth, you know, <laughs> like working with those muscles to kind of get that tension out in a physical way is super helpful. I definitely noticed a couple times when I was not breathing. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. that's not a, just, if that's not so, um, if that doesn't illustrate the value in breath work. Uh, I, yes. don't, I don't know what does because there were definitely times where that tension, my mind was taken away uh, from my breath. And even unconsciously, I wasn't breathing. I was like focused on that activity in my muscles. That's right. And that that's a perfect example of the body breath connection, right? Mm -hmm. We've talked about this in the other videos that our body response takes the breath with it and so when we can bring the breath in and work with the breath we can also affect the reaction of the body so it's yeah it's a perfect example of unconsciously the breath is going with the body yeah. and, and vice versa <laughs> well stephanie thank you uh thank you so very much any final uh parting words for those that might be watching yeah feel free to watch the video a variety of times and then the other thing is we did kind of large chunks of the body, you know, for time's sake, but you could just do the feet and then the lower leg and then the upper leg. You can break it up however you want, you know, just do the fists and the hands and then the arms. So if you have more time, you can do, you know, smaller chunks of the body as you're, as you're willing and you don't have to do the whole body. So let's say you have an injury in one leg and you only want to tense one leg. Great, just do that. Mm. So you can make it your own is what I would say. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. See you next time. Yep.